Hello coin collectors out there. Welcome back to the Big D International Coins and Paper channel. Uh, we've got a lot of great uh, coins for you on this channel. In this particular video, we're going to focus on the gold euro cent coins. Now these coins aren't actually gold. They're made out of a material called Nordic gold, uh, which is a gold colored material, but it's not actually gold. So uh, the coins themselves aren't worth more than face value as far as the metal content goes. But this video is going to touch upon a few different uh, coins that are that you see here. So we're not going to just repeat all of the same designs. We're going to touch upon each of these designs and talk a little bit about the coins. All right, let's start it off with the, this one right here. So this is the, uh, the biggest of the gold coins. It is the 50 euro cent coin. Uh, this coin has a weight of 7.8 grams, diameter 24.25, and a thickness of 2.8. Uh, three eight millimeters. So what you're looking at right now is the obverse. The obverse is kind of the uh, must-see side for all of these coins. The reverse is going to look pretty similar on all of them. So uh, don't really bother spend your time, uh, you know, looking at the details on that because on this video we're going to get you the interesting stuff. So on this side we see a obverse. Uh, the obverse of the coin shows a modern adaptation of the Sawyer. Uh, initially designed by Oscar Roti, uh, representing France, which stays true to itself while it's integrating into Europe. It's encircled with the 12 stars of Europe. Now, the 12 stars of Europe are a common theme that you'll see throughout this video. Uh, I believe all of the Eurocent coins are going to have that 12 stars of Europe on them. Uh, so I'll try and kind of touch upon it each time, but won't dwell too much on it. So this is a nice coin from France right here, the 50 euro cent coin. Now let's stuck, stick with another euro cent coin, this one right here. This one comes to you from the country of Netherlands. Again, it's a common coin with mint mark dates from 1999 until 2006. Its value is 50 euro cents. I'm not sure if I mentioned it earlier, but that translates to about 61 cents United States dollars. Now the obverse of this coin uh, features a uncluttered uh, portrait of Queen Beatrix. It's encircled by the 12 stars of Europe and the uh, legend in the words, which translates to uh, Beatrix, Queen of Netherlands. So you can see the queen right there. Uh, she's the queen of the Netherlands and she made her way onto the 50 euro cent coin. Now she's also on the 20 euro cent coin as well. Uh, so we'll get that one out of the way because we don't need to see the repeat design. All right, this one right here is a little bit more interesting. One of the key uh, features on this one comes from a much bigger country. So there's different uh, mint mark, mint mark marks on it, excuse me. So the different mint marks are located right underneath the date. And you see the date there happens to be 2002. Now this coin comes to you from Germany. Uh, the image that you see on the obverse is the Brandenburg Gate. It's a symbol of division of Germany and its subsequent unification. It's surrounded with the 12 stars of Europe. And now the D mint mark indicates that it is from Munich. Uh, the other mints that are used are Berlin, Munich, uh, Stuttgart, Karlsruhe, and Hamburg. Uh, so this one happens to be from Munich. Without wasting much time, we'll get into the next one. This is a smaller one. It comes, uh, it's a 10 cent coin, it comes to you from Italy. A nice uh, design on the reverse of this one. Uh, it details a, the birth of Venus, a tableau uh, painted by Sandro Botticelli, uh, circa 1485. And like all the other coins, it is encircled by the 12 stars of Europe. And now the final one in the series, this one right here, coming to you from the great country of Austria. So a little bit about Austria. Uh, this, the years that this coin was made uh, were from 2002 to 2007. Uh, the obverse, which we're looking at right here, features the Belverde Palace, uh, one of the most beautiful uh, Barlic uh, places in Austria where the treaty reestablished the sovereignty of Austria was signed in 1955, making it synonym synonymous with freedom. It's encircled by face value, the head heraldic uh, hatching uh, representing the Austrian flag in 12 stars of Europe. 
So repeating the 12 stars of Europe. All right, now let's actually flip it over and take a look at this side. We haven't looked at this side of the coin at all. Uh, so this um, is a map next to the face value symbolizing the gathering of the 50 nations of the European Union. So there it is. Nice, we got to look at some cool coins today. Uh, the Netherlands coin, the uh, Italy coin, another Netherlands, Germany, and France. These are all the gold colored coins that you'll see uh, as part of the euros. Now there's other euros out there obviously, but decided to make a video about just these particular ones. All right, everyone, take care. Best of luck coin collecting. Enjoy.